Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and welcome to the very first FNAF News video of 2023. If you missed my update video the other day, I'd just like to let you know that this first main week of January is basically just gonna be us playing catch-up with some FNAF News we missed on the latter half of December while I was away on break. And I wanted to come back with an absolutely insane announcement, which is a whole bunch of brand new reveals and a demo of sorts for the upcoming fanverse title, FNAF Plus. Because recently, the creator Phil Morg, aka Fizdom, did a giant charity event attempting to complete a hundred percent of security breach without seeing a single glitch. It took three streams, nearly 27 hours, but he finally finally did it, all while raising over $20,000 for the Trevor Project. So just an absolutely fantastic event overall. And in celebration for reaching $20,000, Phil actually showed off a few posters that we're going to see in FNAF Plus. So we're going to be taking a look at that and also a demo. You're going to see why I keep doing the quotation marks when I say demo later on in the video when we talk about it. But a demo for FNAF Plus that he actually sent over to Daco for his charity stream again in December. So if you're excited for the brand new FNAF Plus news, don't forget hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new. Like I said, we've got a whole bunch of FNAF news videos coming out this week. But first up, let's hop into the brand new posters we got. We got eight to look at, so let's kick off with the first one. The first poster is the Celebrate poster featuring Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica up on their stage. This one we have seen. It's going to be in the office, so nothing too, too much new here, just a higher quality version of the poster. Now, as you can see, the stage itself looks pretty identical to what it looks like in FNAF 1, with the brick wall behind them, the checkerboard pattern going across, the red curtains, the sound speakers. You've also got some stars and clouds for decoration, as well as a terrifying sun behind Chica. Moving on to the second poster, this is for Fredrick's Toys and Time Pieces, which looks to be the company behind the frog clocks that we're going to see in FNAF Plus. I don't think it's anything too, too special special about this company. I think it's just a poster that we're going to see in the restaurant advertising this brand. We did actually get a teaser of one of the frog clocks, I believe, earlier on in the development for this game a while back, but I think it looks cute. I would love to have a Fredericks FNAF Plus po uh, clock of my own as merchandise. <laughs> Next up, we've got the official reveal for FNAF Plus Helpy. As you can see, he's got a little vest on as well as a button in his center tummy that actually looks like the Plus logo. Just a little wink and nod to the game. Honestly, I think he looks adorable. I love him so, so so much. You can also see it says 2000 T's at the top right of the poster. Not quite sure what that means. A lot of people have been speculating tickets or tokens. And maybe there's going to be a shop in the game where we can buy some collectibles. We have seen in past teasers and trailers we can organize or customize actually. Some of like the bobbleheads we see in our office. So again, maybe there's a shop and we can buy some new bobbleheads. The fourth poster is Lumber Bites. Obviously a reference to one of Scott's earlier games, Chipper and Sons, which kicked off FNAF in the first place. I honestly love this poster. It's such a great callback to Chipper and Sons, and I'm so glad it's going to be in the game. Phil's attention to detail with FNAF Plus has just been top-notch so far, and this is just the icing on the cake. And the final four posters we're going to take a look at are of the four main animatronics themselves, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. First up, we've got Let's Party with Freddy Fazbear, again, taking center stage, replicating his poster that we see in FNAF 1. Again, great attention to detail, Phil. Next up, you've got Let's Rock with Bonnie, sporting his fantastic guitar. He's, uh, I'm not gonna say stroking that. Jamming out on his guitar, rocking out. That's what I should have said. Again, Bonnie just looks absolutely terrifying. I can't wait to see more of him in action in the final game. And of course, you can't have Chica without Let's Eat. And again, the terrifying sun behind her. I don't know why he's so scary. Why the hell is he there on stage? But another fantastic look at Chica. Again, I think she looks absolutely amazing. Take notice, though, that her eye is still broken in this poster. Chica in FNAF Plus looks extremely broken for some reason. I guess their version of Fazbear Entertainment just doesn't want to repair Chica with her hanging jar and broken eye. But what's interesting is the next poster, which is of Foxy, which if you remember from past teasers and looks at Foxy, he's always had those whited out eyes and he's always all broken down. Well, what's interesting is that in this poster, this teaser poster, he's all fixed up. Look at him, he's got his pupils back, he's all intact, he's, you know, let's play with Foxy. He looks so friendly and inviting in Pirate Cove. Honestly, the most likely answer is just that this is their advertise. This is their way of advertising, you know, interacting with Foxy, like their attraction of Foxy. So of course they're gonna have them all intact, and maybe this poster was made way before he got, you know, destroyed and started tearing and lost his pupils for some reason. But it's just weird that Foxy's fixed in that poster, 
but in Chica's poster, she still has that, you know, wonky eye. But those are eight brand new posters we're gonna see in FNAF Plus. In the environment, probably maybe in the office. Again, it would be so, so cool if we could customize what poster we have in the office. But most likely, we're just gonna see them on, like, walls and hallways, like, in the cameras. And lastly, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the exclusive FNAF Plus demo that was sent over to Daco on his charity stream on the 17th of December. What's funny is that everything in this demo will not be showing up in the final game, besides probably one thing, which is the newspaper that we're gonna see once we hit new game. But Phil later confirmed that this title screen was made in like a singular day. It's not the official title screen we're gonna see in the final product, which makes sense. I mean, you know, it's a pretty bare bones title screen. Honestly, I really hope these flashing images of the FNAF uh, Plus animatronics do make an appearance in the final title screen, because they just look too good, way too terrifying to be made just for this troll demo. But you've got new game, continue, and exit game. There's Bonnie showing up there too. And now let's quickly hit new game and we get sent to our newspaper. Help wanted, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. There's a whole bunch of writing around the newspaper. You can also see the Fredericks frog clock in the bottom right. My favorite clipping is right up here. It looks like Phil's talking about getting some good chocolate ice cream once he's done making this newspaper asset, which is hilarious to me. I've always loved the, the meta wall breaking of the outer writings in the newspapers in FNAF. But once the loading screen and newspaper actually finishes, we get sent to the gameplay of this demo. Uh, yeah, so that was the FNAF Plus official demo. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Now, I don't think, you know, call me crazy, I don't think there's going to be Torking Among Us Freddy's in the final game, FNAF Plus, but uh, who knows, maybe this is our first official look at some actual gameplay with this demo. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off because I thought it was pretty, pretty amusing, even though, again, the title screen is completely fake. Phil made it in a day, he said, but honestly, it was just, it, it was way too funny. Even seeing Daco's reaction live on the stream was absolutely phenomenal. I'm popping in quick during editing because there's something about this demo that I actually forgot to mention. After it was released to the public, people, of course, did what FNAF fans do best, and they went digging through the game's files in search for anything to note. And actually hidden among the files was this sprite of a child. And I'm actually going to quote uh, Kane Carter's tweet about this topic. Though this demo for FNAF Plus is a troll, some people have found this strange, unused question mark, sprite of a blue child simply named Kid in its code. It's especially interesting considering Phil said, quote, there will be no Atari-like 8-bit or retro minigames featured in FNAF Plus. So what this child sprite is all about we have no clue. Is it actually teasing something Phil has already said won't be in the game? Could it be trolling us, or maybe he changed his mind, or maybe the whole thing is a troll and he just threw it in there because he knew once it got released to the public, people would go digging through its files. Well, that's another thing to let you think about. Tell me what are your thoughts on this child sprite in the comments down below. Such a weird thing to say, but he's in there for some reason. Those were some new posters and again the official demo for FNAF Plus. Tell me what do you think in the comments down below. I think it's pretty safe to say that the game will release at some point this year. I don't really want to give a window of when I do think it's going to come out, but I feel like we're getting pretty close. I definitely 100% think it's coming out this year. It's only a matter of time, but of course, let's keep in mind, let's not rush Phil, let him take his time, because everything so far has looked absolutely amazing. Well, that's going to do it for this quick FNAF Plus news video. Thank you all so much for watching. Feels good to be back into the swing of things, talking about some FNAF news. And like I've said many times at this point, we've got plenty more news to talk about in this coming week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.